Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm working on my little S10. It's a pretty easy job. I'm going to be doing the blower motor. Uh, I already took this little tube off here. There's a little tube. Sits on top. Just pop that loose. I got this uh, hose running in front, but you might not have that on yours. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to do this on my phone, so we'll see how it turns out. But uh, You got a little ground wire. This little brown wire it runs down to one of the one of the little Dixie Doos down on the bottom. Uh, looks like I got six or five or six bolts on this thing and looks like they are like a five sixteenths uh, or a seven millimeter. Uh, and I'll go ahead and pop it off and then we'll uh, go from there. It's easy job but I figured I'd just throw it up because I'm gonna start doing videos on all my car repair stuff I do on the side. But uh, all right, I'll get back to you in just a second. Alright guys, I got it off. Here's the old one and here's the new one. Uh, you're going to have to just take this uh, rubber boot that goes into the air box. That's a hose and you're going to have to pop off on your new one. You are going to have, there's going to be a plug on each side. Just make sure you pull the plug on the right side, which is on mine and probably everybody's opposite of the pigtail that goes on the bottom. Just one wire pigtail there on the bottom um, the only hard part about it is if you don't have the right tools the bottom bolt could be a booger because uh, if you see here you don't have much room down in that hole down there and this little one prong for the power there's a bolt right underneath it or a screw right underneath it and uh you know, if you don't have the, if you don't have an extension or a wobble, it might be a pain. You might have to just use a wrench or something. It is a seven millimeter. Uh, that's what I used. Um, so uh, basically, sometimes your resistor will just go bad, and that's this here. You pop this prong, this off, and uh, just pull these two uh, little seven millimeter screws out, and it just pops right out. Pop another one in. It's only ten bucks. This is only twenty five bucks. Um, but I knew mine was the blower motor uh, just from dealing with them from times past. But I'm going to pop it back in here. And uh, there's five, six, there's six uh, screws, seven millimeter. They're just like a sheet metal screw, but you're just screwing into plastic anyways. But anyway, just figured I'd share this with you guys. Uh, it's an easy, quick fix. Costs 25 bucks. And, uh, you know, we got to have heat in the car. It's wintertime. So uh, just remember to change your boot out pop it on there and uh you'll be good to go all right you guys take it easy uh, if i got anything else i'll come back with it uh here at the end take it easy all right uh i just came back uh, I'm, I'm all finished now i just wanted to come back and make a few comments on here number one i didn't disconnect my battery but always disconnect your battery um disconnect the ground at least you know and uh this it does have electrical to it, and I just didn't disconnect it. Uh, you feel free to do however the hell you want, really. But um, also, too, you can pull the motor out and put it back in without having to move your uh, coolant overflow jug. Uh, just barely. Don't think you can't do it because you can. There's enough room as long, as long as yours doesn't have anything on that side of the reservoir. Uh, I also moved my ground wire because it has an external ground and you wonder why they would paint the whole thing. I actually moved my ground wire from way down there to right here. And that is uh, for me because this is my vehicle. Uh, so it's easier next time if I ever have to get back in here again, which I probably won't have to uh, unless something goes wrong with this Chinese made part. Um, but they paint it. And uh, if you ever really messed around with electrical stuff, uh, stuff that's painted doesn't really make a good ground. So I took my knife and I scraped off all the paint right here. And uh, I didn't put the bolt back in on the bottom either because it was a pain in the ass. I'm a diesel mechanic. All my tools are at work. Actually, that's where I'm on my way to now. Uh, but uh, I didn't have, I had a quarter inch ratchet and stuff at the house. I got tools to work around at the house. I just don't have everything. And that bottom one is a booger if you don't have, you know, uh, the right wobble or uh, a, a cordless ratchet or whatever. Uh, so I just didn't put that bottom one back in, and it isn't going to hurt anything. So if you have a pain in the ass time getting it out, don't put it back in. And I know this is an easy job, and, you know, some people are going to say, oh, well, hell, anybody knows how to put a blower motor in. But I figured uh, it's just uh, 
another little job that I was doing on the side and I had to upload it because, you know, there are some people that are trying to save some money and work on their own equipment, uh, which I recommend highly, as uh, long as you are careful and do your research and know what you're doing. Um, but you guys take care, and uh, I'll try to upload this uh, tomorrow probably. It's uh, about time for me to go to work, so I'll sign out from here, and you guys take care.